So I get asked all the time, mainly by female clients admittedly, whether we can have it all. For years, female executives and professionals have been told that being able to have it all is simply a matter of achieving the right work-life balance. I disagree. I do think we can have it all, just not all at one time. We were discussing exactly this in a program last week and one of my participants, who I must say was looking particularly exhausted last week, was saying how she has these huge aspirations for her career. So in the next four years, she's got her signs on her leader once removes role, which is great, right? She also has three kids under five years old and her partner works full time. And she'd like to start an MBA next year. So were you already feeling a little bit exhausted hearing this? I certainly was. So this is also the same participant who was talking about mummy guilt in our session last month. So don't get me wrong. I am all up for being aspirational and having dreams and striving for excellence. It's why I am an executive coach. That's what I help people to do. I'm also up for having it all. But I think you'll agree that this participant is likely to be on crash course with burnout in the next year or so. In order to have it all, we need to properly prioritise the different competing demands from our work and our personal life. And life happens to us 24-7 non-stop. There isn't a way that we can just press pause or put life on hold. So if you're trying to squeeze 28 hours into every day, you're gonna come unstuck. And that's exactly what I think is likely to happen with this participant if she tries to have it all, all at one time. So rather than trying to divide up your life into these two compartments, work or life, and then struggling to blend these two incompatible spheres together, let's try something different. I think the term work-life balance is actually unrealistic and therefore a bit dangerous. Think about it, they never balance perfectly. Sometimes work requires more of your time, other times our personal lives might be a bit more demanding or hectic. So I prefer to focus on work-life choices, that regardless of what's going on in the different areas of my life, that I'm making empowered choices with how I'm spending my time. So obviously deliberate planning is essential. So if you're ready for some help finding an approach to work and life that suits your goals, check out my article on work-life balance versus work-life choices.